Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Uh, answering your questions today, talking a little bit about recruiting on the way to a game. What I want to talk about today is understanding when you're looking at colleges, when you're talking to colleges, that college coaches recruit by need. Okay, so some players don't realize this, that there's going to be certain years where teams are not going to be looking for certain positions, or they're going to be looking a lot less at certain positions than others. For instance, if you're a catcher, a team very well, if a team carries three catchers, a team may already have three sophomore catchers on the roster or two sophomores and a junior. And so they may not be looking for a catcher in your class, okay? And that's for any position. Maybe you're a shortstop. The team may already have two really young shortstops, three really young shortstops, and maybe they're not looking for a shortstop in your class. Now, pitching is one of the things where typically they're always looking for pitching, but every year is going to be a little bit different. And that's with the entire recruiting class in general. So, for instance, when I was at Holy Cross, we had one class that had, I think, 19 players in one class. So when that class was graduating, we were looking for a huge recruiting class because we had to make up for all those players that were leaving. The year before that, we weren't looking for very many guys because that class was huge and it was still on the roster. So a lot of it depends on who's on the roster, what positions guys play. That's all going to determine the needs of the coaching staff and what they're going to go out and recruit. A lot of players don't think about this. A lot of players just say, yeah, I, I want to go to Hartford. That's where I really want to go. I'm a catcher. I really want to go to Hartford. Well, Hartford isn't, maybe Hartford's not recruiting catchers for that year, for your year. So you're not going to Hartford, right? That's why it's important to have a really big list when we talk about target lists for schools. You can't just say, even if you're a really good player, you can't just be like, yeah, these are the two schools I want to go to. First of all, how do you know they're going to like you and think that you have the skill set that they're looking for? But second of all, how do you know that they're looking for your position? Okay, maybe it's one of those small recruiting years for them. Maybe they have catchers already in. Maybe you're a shortstop and they already have the shortstops that they want and they're not looking for another one. Well, no matter how good you are, if they don't have room for you, you're not going there. So make sure you're doing some research. It's really easy. You can go online. You can look at, you can look uh, on the team's website. It's going to tell you where everybody plays. You can also ask the coaches when you talk to them. You know, how many, if you're a shortstop, how many shortstops are currently on the roster? How many of you guys recruiting? How many are you looking to bring in this year? When I was getting recruited, that was one of the biggest things I looked at when I was looking at, you know, all of our schools. And when it came down to it, it came down between Wake Forest and University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. And not only understanding if a team wants you or not, but the other important thing is, do you want to go to a place, if you're a, if you're a shortstop, do you want to go to a place that's already recruiting three other guys or bringing in three other guys in your grade? Or maybe they have some really young shortstops already on the roster. And maybe they, you've got an All-American or you've got a really good you know, shortstop already there. So when I was looking to go to Wake Forest, I was the only infielder that, re that Wake Forest was recruiting or that was offering my year. And I also knew that ahead of me, there were a couple of older guys, but there wasn't a ton of guys that had playing time that I was like, hmm, you know, am I gonna be able to go there and play? I had a pretty good idea that I, I could go there and at least compete, and if I did well, I thought I could play pretty early in my career, and that's what happened. Now, UNC, they were bringing in five infielders with me, so I would have been the sixth infielder in my class. So when they told me that, I was like, geez, not that I, I'm not saying that I'm afraid to compete with guys, but what do I got a better chance to go? Do I got a better chance going into a school with, that's, I'm going to be the sixth guy that's coming in as an infielder, or am I going to be better off going to the place where they want me to be the guy? They're bringing me in as their only infielder in that class. So it's important to do the research and understand that every year is different, every school is different, and really know the roster and know what they're looking for and who they're trying to bring in. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, in the description box below, we've got a couple things down there for you guys. So we've got a uh, deal going on with Play Crate. If you click on the link, type in Antonelli, you get 50% off your first Play Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon site where you can help support the channel. We've got a bunch of other stuff down there as well, so definitely check all that out. 
And that's all we got. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And we will talk to you later.